Well, good evening. Developers couldn't move forward with this project until the city agreed to rezone this land to allow for those high-end apartments. The council could have done that last month, but decided to hold off on a decision until today. They did that so the more than 200 families currently living at Mission Trails could better understand their options moving forward. Let them know that no one will be forced to move for nine months, and that agreements are in place with the developer and other trailer parks to pay for moving expenses and reduced rent. Rebecca Villagran, the council woman who represents District 3 and these residents called this the best option since the current landowner plans to sell the property no matter what. We have some more security for the residents now. There's security now that wasn't there before. I, for one, am not really surprised on what happened here. I expected this to happen, but I am a little disappointed about some of the reactions some of the city council members did take. It looks like we're saddened, but they said we have nine months, right? Let's see what we can do in nine months. It has been extremely difficult, and it is not easy to see this happen, but I know that what we've worked towards and what we've worked for is the best situation to come forward. Last month, and another 50 speakers today, all of them begging the city to let them stay at Mission Trails. The city council approved the rezoning by a vote of six to four. Those voting no included Councilman Diego Bernal and Mayor Julian Castro. Meantime, Councilwoman Rebecca Villagran says she will make sure the developers keep their commitment to help these residents relocate as smoothly as possible. Reporting live on the South Side, Robert Price, Fox News at 9.